Frederick coming at you with another episode of Hey Bro Frederick. On today's episode of Hey Bro Frederick, I am going to discuss the three best places to play slots in downtown Las Vegas. This is a follow up video to my other two popular videos, which were the three best places to play slots on the strip and the three worst places to play slots on the strip. So this one for downtown was highly, highly, highly requested. So I thought I'd do it. I guess it would be more apropos if I drove around downtown, but the traffic is just freaking outrageous today down there. So we're going to enjoy some strip scenery and we'll discuss the three best places to play slots in downtown Las Vegas right after this. Again, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Bro Frederick, local Las Vegas-based photographer, videographer, cinematographer, and part-time philosopher. And I invite you to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, get notified about new videos. And when I go live, which is three times a week, Tuesday afternoons, Thursday nights, and Saturday nights. And don't forget to drop the 9% word of the day, which I'll put in the end of the video in the comments, and that'll let me know, and it'll let YouTube know that you stuck around to the very end. According to YouTube's own stats, 9% of you do, and I appreciate each and every one of you. So let's get into it. My criteria for downtown slots is a little different from strip slots. When I was giving my review on where to play and where not to play slots on the strip, the criteria was influenced, not hugely, but small points, small percentage on service and overall atmosphere in the casino. Because all things being equal, if two properties are equal and one just has better service, I put them higher on the list. So downtown, I'm not going to use the same criteria. I'm going to strictly stick to the criteria of where I've had the best play and, yes, the best treatment, too, and the best vibe, but definitely the best play where I have found the loosest slots and the most bang for my entertainment, my slot machine play. And let's get started with number three. Three. Number three on my list of where to play slots downtown is Binion's. Binion's has an amazing variety of machines. It's right, it's located right on the Fremont Experience. The parking isn't bad in case, you know, you're actually driving down there from the strip. If you're staying there, even better. But they have a great selection of slot machines, and I found them generous. And again, the service is pretty good. They have everything from modern slot machines to some of the old favorites. They got a great selection of the Buffalo, which I happen to like. And they do treat their slot players very, very well. So Binion's old school AF, I enjoy that place. I enjoy the atmosphere, and I enjoy that they have fairly loose slot machines given the standard of downtown so that earns them a solid third place on my list of the best places to play uh, i've done very well there i've had good success on buffalo on video poker and various other machines their machines are generous and they also prescribe to my theory of slot play slot machine layout and i'll drop a card right now for that and you can learn my theory on where to find the best slot machines and what i found they're in lockstep with that theory so finding good machines in binions is not a hard thing to do so let's get to number two on the list of where to play slot machines downtown and that would be none other than the plaza the plaza is a great place to play now again it's got a very old school atmosphere it's got very i wouldn't say very but it's got loose machines it's got a decent variety but i found the machines slightly looser than the ones at binions but they suffer from a little bit of a lack of variety they have plenty of the new arcade styles they do have some very, very new games that 
no other places seem to have. And the slot play is fairly loose over there. And they do treat you well. I would definitely recommend hitting up the plaza. Now, the plaza is a little bit harder to get in and out of on occasion, unless you're walking. But I didn't deduct any points for that because I'm going to assume... You already found a place to park somewhere down there, so go and enjoy the plaza. The plaza also has great food, and they treat their slot players very, very well. Get your card there. Get known over there if you come to town on a regular basis, and they will treat you well. They don't have high expectations. You don't have to be a whale. You can just be a, an average entertainment player on the slots and they will treat you very good. And I've had some very, very big wins over at the plaza on Buffalo, on video poker, and a couple of the other machines too. I generally don't like playing progressives. They have a lot of progressives down there, but I found that their progressives are not too heavily weighted towards the jackpot. There's more line hits on their progressives than in a lot of other places I've seen downtown. So I'm not hesitant to play a progressive slot machine. So Plaza earns a solid second place on my list of where to play slot machines downtown. So without further ado, let's get right into number one. And this might not surprise people. It might surprise people. I don't know. But in my opinion, the number one place to play slot machines downtown is El Cortez. <laughs> you heard that right. The old El Cortez. The El Cortez just ticks all the boxes when it comes to playing slot machines, at least for me and I know for you. So number one, their slot machines are by far the most generous of all the places downtown. Bar none, they are the most generous, the loosest. Their service is also very good, and that's a, that's a plus, but they have plenty of cocktail service on the floor. You don't have to be a whale. You don't have to be, you know, a high roller or anything. They take care of everyone. They treat their slot players exceedingly well. As far as mix of machines, they have it all. They have everything from video poker machines from the 90s with the old bubbled CTR screens to the most modern games. They got the Buffalo. They got the most generous Buffalo in all of downtown. They might have the most generous Buffalo in all of Las Vegas, if that's your thing. And that's certainly my thing. Video poker, they got tons of 9-6 games. They do extremely well with their layout. That follows again with my theory of slot machine layout. It's very, very easy to find the good playing machines. Now, what you'll also find in there is a lot of locals gravitate because it's just a thing. If you're a slot player, after getting beat up for years or a week or a day or even an hour, eventually you find the good machine. You recall it in your head and you go back to it. So you'll see a lot of locals playing over there too. Parking is very easy over there. It doesn't require validation. The place is safe. It's a little bit off the uh, the beaten path. I mean, go look it up. You can Google map it, but it's the area around it's safe. I wouldn't recommend walking around anywhere downtown after 2 a.m. by yourself. But getting back to the property, it's a great property. It's clean. The people there are friendly, and they will treat you very, very well. Now, on top of the very loose slot machines, the very generous Buffalo, the way they take care of you over there, the selection of machines, they tick another box that might mean something to you and it certainly means something to me. They have coin spitters galore. If you don't know what a coin spitter is, that's the old style machines that actually takes and spits out coins, whether they're tokens or whether they're actual quarters. They have tons of them down there. Video poker machines that actually spit quarters and take quarters. They have dollar machines. They have a selection that is, I always recommend on the strip, Circus Circus for their slot coin spitter machines, but El Cortez has a ton of them. They've been sitting there for years. The locals enjoy them. I enjoy them. It's just 
fun. If you want an experience, uh, a slightly older school experience of touching coins, well, you got to wash your hands afterwards, whatever. But the experience of interacting with the machine, slipping the coins, and then it slows things down too. That's another thing. With the modern machines, with you're just working with credits and it's spitting out paper and go to the machine, it speeds up your play. You will blow through your bankroll or blow through your playing time a lot quicker in a non-coin spitter machine, and that's by design. They want you betting, 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 betting. They want you, you know, they want your money. You know, they want you to, obviously, they want to keep your money, but a coin spitter machine kind of slows down the play. Yes, you could drop the money. You could drop a hundred in there and play nickels all day, but a lot of people like to cycle through the money. They like to it's a little more fuller experience. You could actually get the entertainment value out of a coin spitter. And again, the coin spitters there, you'd think they would turn them down to like nothing, you know, ass, you know, 81% and take all your money. But the coin spitters are just as generous as all their other machines. They haven't touched those machines and reset those chips probably since like the early 90s. So they're still in the the 90 and the high 90 percentage in terms of payback for a coin spitter that is freaking awesome so if you want the best slot play the best bang for your buck hit up the el cortez they got the coin spitters they got the modern machines they got the good parking they got the great service and they got the old school atmosphere so that to summarize is my list of the top three you head on over to Binion's. Binion's solid three on the list. Solid three on the list. And then you got Plaza, solid two on the list. And then you got the El Cortez, my number one pick as of April 2021. This might change. They are the number one place to play slots downtown. Now, I will make another video on playing the strip versus playing downtown but stay tuned for that you got to click the bell you got to subscribe and all that other good stuff i'll give you the pros and cons of both which one will do better for you so right now i'm going to drop the nine percent word of the day up in this corner right here bam again drop that in the comments let me know you stuck around to the very end let youtube know you stuck around to the very end and you're enjoying the videos I am putting out, and I want to thank you for coming along with me for this drive and chat. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and do that. Get you a Patreon membership or a channel membership, or you can go in the links below and click on any one of them. I get a little commission, helps out me, helps out the channel, and I'd appreciate that greatly. And on that note, Bro Frederick out.